everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. This is TEI Landmark Audio, and we're launching our second podcast. My name is Tori. And I'm Anthony. Hey, Anthony. How are you doing today? Doing great. How was your weekend? Uh, uh, you know, the weekend was fairly uneventful. In case you can't tell, I've got, you know, like that miserable cold that's been going around the entire city of Indianapolis for the last few weeks. We've all been sharing that one. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for You're sharing welcome. that with me. And <laughs> I have taken it home and shared it with my family as well. So, if I sound a little clogged up today, please bear with me because the information that we've got coming your way is going to be beneficial, whether it's coming through my nose or not. Absolutely. All right. So, many of you uh, are already familiar with TEI Landmark Audio, and uh, the core of our business is audiobooks. Yes. So, do you want to expand upon that just a little bit for us, Tony? Absolutely. Well, with the audiobooks, we also have the playaways. Um, and with the, the playaways and the audiobooks, we have either a purchasing program or a leasing program. And we've just recently expanded into our makerspace items. Makerspace or STEAM initiative are um, items that are uh, great for the kids, uh, young adults, and even adult programs. Yeah, we're all very much aware of the fact that uh, community libraries are doing everything that they can to introduce 21st century technologies into their communities uh, to help prepare the uh, the young ones for the upcoming workforce. You know, it's not the same as it used to be. Absolutely. And if you're kind of unaware of what the Makerspace program is, you might already be doing it. A Makerspace program is something as simple as if you have a Legos club or possibly even a knitting club. They are creating things in a certain space that has no restrictions. It's just kind of free open creations. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, what they do too, like for example, let's say the knitting or sewing clubs, they will make scarves, hats, or gloves, and then they can donate that to the community, to the homeless shelters. So That's it's a win-win. And you know, when we say makerspace, there are a lot of organizations that kind of pull back from that because they feel like they have to have a dedicated space in order to make these sessions uh, happen there in their community. And that's not necessarily the case. Absolutely. And even if you do want a dedicated space, we've got a solution for you. We've got makerspace in a crate. You can unbox it, put it out into the area that you have designated for it. When the program's over, put it back in the crate, slide it under the table. Yep, because a lot of the products and such that we're featuring, you don't need a huge amount of space to work with. There are many libraries that I work with that bring the product out on their little push cart on an as needed basis and get everything set up and they're able to break it down and then put it all back away. So don't let space be an issue in regards to hosting these sessions at your library. All right. Well, if space is not an issue, what about budget? This stuff has to be expensive, right? Not necessarily. Okay. So you brought up a really excellent point. One of the things that we would like to do off and on through this series is introduce some of the Makerspace and Steam Initiative products that we have available. And today we're starting with... Makey Makey. It's an invention kit for everyone. Basically, what the kit does is that it's a um, an open platform. It is a it'll turn anything into a touchpad. The touchpad then works with any internet program that you have. And when I say any, I mean any. There are well over a million different things. If you Google Makey Makey, a million different projects and plans and things will come up. Mm -hmm. Today, I think we're going to be covering which one? Yeah, well, I think that for today, we just want to like do a basic unboxing. Okay. You know, and let you all know exactly what it is that Makey Makey does and why we're so attracted to it. Because um, I speak candidly as many of you already know. And I will tell you that when this little Makey Makey box came across my desk, I, I didn't get it. It wasn't until I went to that first conference and we had it set up to where my mind really opened up about the possibilities of what you can do with this tiny little box. It is amazing the projects that you can work with. So for today, let's just start with a few of the basics, shall we? Absolutely. All right. So included inside of your kit is the motherboard and I've already unboxed it. A very simple process. And I've hooked a few of the uh, of the wires up to it. And um, right here, you'll note that there is a small little uh, plug uh, that once you plug the UPC cable into the unit itself, then you plug the other end into the power unit on this side. And this is how you generate the power through the entire system. Anthony, you want to give the keypad a touch to make sure we keep, there we go, keep the, uh, keep the computer running for us. All right, so... The whole concept of the Makey Makey is, is that anything that will conduct even a little bit of electricity, you're going to be able to complete the circuit with. So right now, what we've done is we have gone to the Makey Makey website 
and we have attached our computer to the piano app. There are lots and lots of different apps that you can use. Have this you explored is, any of those? Yes, this is one of thousands of different apps. Uh, they have different games like Tetris or Mario Brothers or, or uh, different things, so it can be a controller. And if you notice, it's kind of set up like the old Nintendo controller, left, mm -hmm. right, up, down, A and B button. That's right. Uh, but it will do uh, thousands of different programs, thousands of different things. Right. Okay, so what we've done then is we have uh, we have hooked up this particular Makey Makey uh, we've got it hooked it up to uh, Play-Doh, water, a banana. Oh, and by the way, this banana is living proof that you don't buy your produce at the gas station. Okay? <laughs> All right. So, now, this I use as the ground wire. And, you know, because I'm a little anal retentive, I like hooking up the wires to the things that look like the colors. The Color colors, yeah. Great exactly. for ground. All right, so all of these little spots across the bottom, these are called your earth fields or grounds. All right, so as you can see, you can set up a whole variety of grounds. Now, one of the things that I want to get out before I forget is that don't forget that once you make your initial purchase with the Makey Makey, you can make a trip to your local hardware store and you can buy an additional length of wire, a spool of wire, and extra alligator clips and really expand the opportunities that you have with the Makey Makey. Not only the number of kids that you can be using with it at any given moment, but also the distance in which you can use the Makey Makey. Absolutely. All right. So. Wait, that's not quite enough. We need something else. We need something green. Oh. How about a house plant, Anthony? That works for me. All right. So we're going to go ahead and hook this up to our motherboard as well. All right, so we've got our ground wire. Absolutely. And one has to remember that you need to hold on to the metal part of the alligator clip in order to actually finish the circuit because you, the, the human, is the one that's completing the circuit, eh? So, Play-Doh, water, banana, plant oh so anything that will conduct a little bit of electricity as a matter of fact anthony i was gonna say wait i'm kind of electric you are yes you have a note ready so you can actually turn the kids into musical instruments and they absolutely love that give me your hand sir all right let's test this out I am still electric. Yeah, you are indeed, my friend, and don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. Absolutely. All right. So, um, some of the things that uh, we want to share with you in regards to this product is uh, we, when I said, don't forget, you can make a trip to your local hardware store. So, you were looking for 22 AWG stranded wire. All right. Absolutely. All right. Anything will work, but that conducts the electricity the best. Exactly. Yep. So, this way you know that you're working with the same texture and size of wire and uh, offering continuity when you're working with the kids, right? Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So what are some of the different things you've seen with the uh, Makey Makey? This oh. is the piano. This is one example, but what else have you seen? Well, you know, as an example, um, since a lot of the kids are playing video games mm -hmm. um, on their computer, like the old Mario Bro uh, Brothers style games, you can actually hook the Makey Makey up through your computer and use the bananas or the Play-Doh or the water as your jump arrows, you know, left, right, up, down. So you're able to incorporate this into a, um, into a product that the kids are already familiar with. Absolutely. I saw one librarian that she uh, ran the, uh, the ground wire up the handrail. All the kids held onto the handrail. And as they're walking up, she had little uh, aluminum foils on the stairs. And as they hit each step, they were grounded. And then each step lit up a light. It was really pretty cool. Excellent. I worked with a uh, library that uh, for the launch of their summer reading program, uh, they put some of those um, big plastic wading pools oh, out in the those. front of the library. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, they're great, you know, on a hot mm -hmm. summer day with a nice cold beer. But anyway, they had the uh, these pools of water set up and the kids were able to hold 
you know, the ground wire and go through and splash on the surface of the water. And it played music through the sound system that they had. So this one board will do multiple children. It just, the, the limit is your imagination. Absolutely. That's absolutely. Awesome. Because as you can see right now, I only have four of the wires set up and there are actually um, spaces for six different connections. So you can use at least six kids per unit and still have everyone participating. Absolutely. All right. And then I was looking at the product again this morning, and I noticed that on the back of the motherboard, there is additional opportunities for uh, other key spaces, other keystrokes. Yes. So now the, the alligator clip, of course, is not going to slip in here, but the stripped off piece of wire would absolutely snuggle down into those pieces so that you can indeed expand the unit again even more and the unit you can program so if you want it to play like we have set up right now with the space bar the up down left right you can program this to do any key so if you're hitting the a key b c d um, and if you uh, want to have it play those tones as well the kids can kind of learn the music by programming i want to hit a b b c and, and you can mm -hmm. teach them music that way too so this is programmable you can change it up and it's real easy you just go to makey makey um, and they'll and they'll tell you how to reprogram that oh yeah so. their their website is awesome they've got all kinds of lesson plans and uh step-by-step -step tutorials it is amazing what you can do. And we neglected uh, to mention some of the more common materials that you can also use with this. Um, I went to YouTube, which is one of my go-to websites when I'm really wanting to investigate some of the products that we have. Mm -hmm. Because you can type in the name of any of the products that, that we're offering here at TEI into the YouTube search channel and be amazed at some of the products uh, and projects that come up. So um, you want to keep in mind that like graphite pencil on paper, so you can actually make electronic art. Um, Very cool. I saw some of the, um, some of the uh, videos. There was one where they had uh, um, uh, stomp pads that they had made where they laid various pads on the ground, you know, so the kids can dance on the pads and yeah. generate sounds. Balloons. Helium balloons. Exactly. They go up and, and touch pieces of aluminum foil up on the ceiling. So these were just a few very rough, very simple examples of the multitude of things that you can do with the Makey Makey. And we do highly encourage you to visit our website at teilandmarkaudio.com and click on Makerspace Steam. And that will direct you to all of the products and services that we have for Makey Makey currently. And... Don't forget to stop by uh, the Makey Makey website, makeymakey.com, because they've got incredible information already available to them. Absolutely. So this is the portion of the podcast where we typically take a question or a concern from uh, one of our local libraries, and uh, you can send those questions or comments to podcast at teilandmarkaudio.com. And if we use your comment, do you know what they win? What do they win? Absolutely nothing. Cool. So uh, let's go ahead and take that question. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah, we have a huge production staff behind the camera. Someday we'll introduce you to all of him as well. All right. So, oh, the question is actually from an Ohio library, which is your territory. Excellent. All right. Our question today is, what ways have you seen the libraries use the Makey Makey the most effectively? Oh, my. All right. Well, um, speaking candidly, I personally... Have never been to a library while they've got the Makey Makey product in use. I have, however, seen a huge variety of um, of videos uh, with uh, with very creative things that they've done. Um, have you seen the one with the helium balloons? No, I have not. Oh, it's awesome! They even hook it up to the helium balloons. They've got aluminum foil on the ceiling, and as they release and then lower the balloon, and it makes contact with the aluminum foil on the ceiling. It continues to play music. It really is awesome. So again, YouTube is going to be your best friend in regards to generating ideas uh, and and come up with your own. Um, you know, let let those videos spark your imagination. Share your imagination with the kids and let them run rampant with it. It is amazing some of the things you're going to come up with. Sounds great. Well. I think that pretty much wraps us up for today. We are out of time. We truly do appreciate that you've stopped by and taken a look at our podcast. And again, please 
Don't forget to send in your questions, comments, concerns, products that you would like to see addressed on our webcast. And that is at podcast at teilandmarkaudio.com. See ya. Have a great night.